everyone, it's July 25th, which can only mean two things. One, I'm recording with a camera that's a lot nicer, and that's the surprise! Two! VidCon, 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 VidCon. Hello everyone, as I said before, it is July 25th, and this camera is a, uh, is a big improvement from what I usually use, which is just a flip video camera. This is the NEX VG10, and this is courtesy of Sony. I'll be using this at VidCon, uh, to interview some YouTubers, and it's pretty nice. Anyway, let's get to the part where I talk about stuff. And what will I talk about today, you might ask? Well, I've been kind of questioning myself whether or not I should, but I guess I will. Which is, the stupidity of what we call news sources. Let me explain why I would go so far as to call a company like CNN, or a news corporation like CNN, stupid. You know, from time to time, I like to go on websites like CNN, check out the news stories, see if I could talk about anything, you know, on my videos. And I always like to kind of just hop to the technology section, because I'm a nerd. That's, that's the kind of stuff I'm into. I like computers, I like talking about social media. Uh, but to a certain degree. But you know, lately I've been jumping to CNN's technology section and it's just been so... Ah, uh, so stupid. You know, what does CNN consider, what does a CNN technology editor consider just hard breaking, you know, news for technology? Well apparently he thinks that Owling could be the new planking. Oh god. I could just imagine that breaking as a story. Tom, we just got the news results in and yes, squatting, squatting on a statue is uh, more uh, more awesome than laying flat down on a park bench. What? I'm retarded. Oh, thanks. Really? What does a guy squatting on a freaking statue have to do with technology? Oh, because it's an internet meme? Oh, that's a bad excuse. The only time I want to see a news story relating to planking is whether or not somebody's gonna die because they planked on the freeway or they planked a city street or something like that and almost died. But you know, it's just- wait. What? Oh, they did that already. Really? And they're okay? Why didn't anybody run them over? Hell, if I was driving, I would have ran him over. And you know what? The news is out there to scare you. And a lot of you are like, what? No, they're not. They're there to give us news. All right, and if you're like, what are you talking about, Matthew? Well, watch your 11 o'clock news promo. Could the radiation from your kids' cell phones be giving them cancer? Find out at 11. Could our president be an illegal immigrant? Find out at 11. Pedophiles. Pedophiles. Pedophiles! at 11. Alright, and so from that, I'm just gonna stop talking about the negativity and talking about the positivity, like VidCon, which is coming up soon. Yeah, it's gonna be great, I'm excited, and next week's video is actually gonna be me hanging out with some YouTubers, uh, doing a video and stuff like that. And I'll be interviewing some YouTubers, uh, using this camera as I said before, so that leads me up to the comment question of the week. If there's a YouTuber that you know is going to VidCon and you want me to interview, what would you want me to ask them? Uh, go ahead and leave that in the comment section down below or in a video response. If you wanna make your own video response for the comment question of the week, go ahead and ask one. So you guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next week. Unless you're going to VidCon, I'll see you on Friday.